Hi all, today we're going to replace a garbage disposal. This is a Badger 5, and so what we've done here is we got a direct drop-in replacement of also the Badger 5. And this came with the package, so we got it on Amazon for relatively cheap, and the cord was already installed. Now, some of them don't come with the electrical cord, and they also include some replacement pieces, which we may not use. This we won't use because the sink, there's nothing wrong with it. And this is just a extra component that you don't really need. We will replace the seals and the screws. And each garbage disposal comes with its own little Allen key, which is good for installation. Now, sometimes if your garbage disposal isn't running really well, you just take the key and actually you just stick it into the bottom on the motor and you can break it loose. Because if you find your garbage disposal prematurely seeming like it's seized up, sometimes like eggshells or bone fragments or something cause the motor inside to uh, bind. And so all you do is break it loose. So it should run pretty smoothly. But in this case, this unit is already pretty old. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop it out and put in the new one. So rule number one is safety. So you gotta make sure you disconnect the garbage disposal first. And then if you try to power it on, it shouldn't work. And that's a good sign. And then the second step is you're actually going to loosen up the tubes. So this is kind of the um, excess. This is kind of the drain. And then you'll break these guys loose and then the whole guy should drop down. But don't do this first until you loosen up these connections. Otherwise, you could break this PVC piping. So I've loosened this. Now I'm going to loosen up these guys. It's kind of rusted, but that happens if uh, old, older units. And that's okay because we got the replacement parts. And then you also take off this guy. So I've removed uh, this hose guy, which is pretty easy, just kind of like a band clamp, and then took out the two screws. And now I can detach this guy. Now this metal part, we're gonna go ahead and replace. You can actually just take this whole guy out. And now your garbage disposal is pretty much free. And we'll drop it down by, by using this Allen key right here, and then you just break it loose and while i'm doing this i usually try to put a hand up here and break it here just so it doesn't put too much stress on the sink so it dropped down pretty easily and now here's the old one and we're gonna pop in the new one now now before you drop in the new one usually i copy down or take a photo of the serial number in case it breaks because this thing is usually covered by a warranty and then I kind of check out to make sure everything works okay. This thing isn't installed or on right now, so I'll put my hand in here just to make sure it turns and all the pieces are there, and it is. And so this is just gonna go back exactly in reverse order. You just drop it back up into there, connect up the hose lines, and then you should be good. But before you do that, you can also follow the instructions, but I've seen this a number of times and I've installed a few of these. So there's actually a little plastic thing you have to break loose in here and it's shipped that way. So usually I just get a pretty big screwdriver and smash it through. Put my foot there to hold it. There you go. And you just reach into the disposal and pull out that plastic piece. And there it is. It's a little disc. That's all you need to do. And then we are going to salvage. We can actually reuse this guy, but we'll take off this, this plastic piece, kind of clean it up a bit, replace this because it was a replacement one in the kit. And it's good too, because it's rusted. Also, there was a seal that was here that's also included in the garbage disposal kit. So I'm just cleaning up these things. Fortunately, there's a direct replacement that came with the kit. So whenever you can, and if there's exact replacement, use new parts. Don't try to salvage the old ones unless you have to. That goes for seals, screws, any kind of hardware, because things have life on them and they've been used up. So it doesn't hurt to put in whatever new that you can. Plus it came with the kit. What else are you gonna do with it? Okay, so put in the First put on the uh, flange, then you put on the uh, locking nut, and then I'm gonna clean this up a bit and then I'll slide it back on. So everything's attached now, 
and this you want the uh, flangey part or the taper going down because it fits into the mating side, the female side, and kind of seals up. And then this guy squeezes down to make sure you have no leaks. Now, since this is the drain side, there's kind of a low pressure side, so you don't have to really worry about Teflon taping or puttying the other side of it because it's plastic, so it's usually a pretty loose material, pretty soft material. If it was brass or metal, I would consider putting Teflon tape because you want to make sure you got a better seal. But this is all plastic PVC piping, so it should be okay. So the way these garbage disposal guys install, I usually install it with one hand kind of bracing against my knee or the floor. And then you just have to kind of start it here and then ensure it engages and locks. So it works pretty much on just its own friction and the way it kind of levers up. It'll compress this gasket, this bezel part. And that pretty much just does the whole thing and it kind of keeps a good seal. Afterwards, I'll install these guys and then put the tube on as well. You can usually put it on and then kind of clock it into place. All right, I got it. So these little feet should ride on each rail. And I usually just kind of run my fingers to make sure. Now I haven't locked it in yet because I'm going to clock the whole garbage disposal over. And then you just kind of repiece everything back one by one. You put the PVC, not PVC, well, PVC or ABS tube in first, so because that one has less give, and then you come back and put the other drain. Now, it's very important that the replacement rubber seal you that they came with the kit, you put it back in, or you put, in, put it in, because if you don't, you just try to put the flange on, it's going to leak on you. So I'll just go ahead and put this all together. Put the two screws on, secure this guy down, and we should be in business. All right, with a lot of things, I haven't tightened everything down. I just kind of reinstalled this pipe here, and then I've lined up the flange holes. What I'll do is I actually loosely insert these screws. And then what I like to do is, because if you tighten one thing up too soon, you're going to potentially create stresses everywhere. So I just like to get this started and then clock it just right. Tighten this guy up here, then tighten these screws, and then this guy has the most give because it's just plastic on plastic, and I put this guy last, and then this guy's super last. So I have everything kind of seated up, and what I do is I tighten this guy down, but it's important that you don't take it all the way to the end because in the future, if you try to, re to take it apart and you can't get your Allen through, it's gonna be a real pain in the ass. So, real pain in the butt. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tighten it a little bit more. And then, yeah, okay. That should be good. So in the future, if this breaks, and it eventually will, you still have room to get this key through. If you ever lose this, that's okay, because each garbage disposal will come up a new one, and you can break it loose again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these guys, this guy, and reinstall this, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so I went ahead and secured this guy, secured these screws down, and secured here. So it's always one, clock it to where you need, two, start them off, three, just have this ready, and then tighten it down by this guy first, then this guy, then this guy. And when you're tightening down, there's, you could probably look it up, there might be a torque spec, but I highly doubt it. You just pretty much tighten these down to, you know, good hand tight, and it's all feel, you'll know. And same thing with this. Don't put a tool on this and try to tighten this with your uh, with a tool or vice grips because you might end up cracking this and then you'll be in a world of hurt. This is already designed so you can do it by hand and that's all you really need. Kind of like when you replace a filter on your car, they're just hand tight or, you know, a couple, like a quarter turn past hand tight. That's all you really need. Same thing with this guy, but this is more of a band. This is like a hose clamp, so it's not that big a deal. All it does is tighten down on here, but you just install and then tighten this down, we'll plug it in, make sure it works, and then uh, Miller time. All right, so everything's already buttoned up, tightened down. We're gonna turn it on, but always run it with some cold water. Now, people sometimes have run it with hot water. The only difference is when you run hot water, the motor's gonna get hot. So it's always nice to run it with cool water. And then after you turn off your garbage disposal, you run it for a few more seconds to continue flushing out any of your food stuff or food waste or whatever. Because I know people who just kind of 
run their garbage disposal without any water. And that's kind of not the best for your garbage disposal. And then cold water is better than hot water. And then to maintain your garbage disposal, sounds strange, but you need to use it pretty regularly. You need to make sure you don't just install it and only use it like once or twice a month. You want to kind of use it roughly every week if you can, just to keep everything moving because the moving parts inside this disposal, as you put in other food particles and you don't run it, it could kind of embed like pieces of chicken bone or, or eggshells or whatever you put down your disposal. It could lock and seize up and it's good to just run it uh, semi-regularly and you should, this thing should last a while. It's fired up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. First, we're gonna check for leaks. If I installed it correctly, there shouldn't be any leaks. Looks good, and then we're gonna fire it up. All right, that's the usual sound of a disposal. Uh, it's not grinding anything, so that's good. And then, try it again. All right, cool. So it looks like we're in business. Now what I'll usually do is I'll put out a clean paper towel for the next probably three days. As I'm doing dishes, running the disposal, I wanna see if there's any residual or slow leaks that I don't know about. Maybe the seal isn't good right here, or I didn't tighten up this guy, or any number of things I could have accidentally broken the seal, or perhaps the Badger garbage disposal itself is faulty and there could be a leak. So that's not unheard of. And if after about, you know, a few days of that paper towel or Kleenex and you see no water, then you know you're good to go. So anyways, that's how you DIY your own garbage disposal replacement. Thanks for watching.